I have lived in the forest, close to nature. There is no violence there, but in the outer world is the real jungle. How, how am I to live in it without becoming part of it, part of its competition, brutality, violence and cruelty? I have lived in, the for in a forest close to nature. There is no violence there, but the, out the outer world is the real jungle. How am I to live in it without becoming part of its competition, brutality, violence and cruelty? First, how easy it is to live by yourself in a wood. I tell my friend I have done it without any boast or anything, it is natural. I have done it, it is very easy, because you are not related to anybody. You look at the trees, the rivers, plant, they, they invite you to look at them. The more you look at a tree, the more beautiful it becomes. The shadow, the leaves fluttering in the wind. There is no, it doesn't demand anything of you. You are enjoying yourself. Listen to the birds, to the sound of water, to the lovely clear morning. And one is tempted to live like that forever. But you can't. Even there, to live in a forest, you are related to somebody or something. You are related to the man who brings you milk. So there is always, even though one is a hermit, you are always living in a certain kind of relationship with another. And if you are a neurotic saint, then it becomes very easy. Most saints are neurotic. And then they give you food, clothes, and all the rest of it. So, when one enters the world, the trouble begins. The world which human beings have created. Not only the past generation upon generation which has created this society, but also all of us are contributing to it. When you buy a stamp, when you post a letter, you are contributing to all. When you take the train, you are contributing to war. So you might say, I won't take train, a train, I won't post a letter, I won't telephone, I won't pay taxes, and so on. Taxes are rather difficult. The government will be after you <laughs> if you have money. So, what will you do? Withdraw completely, not write letter, not travel. You understand, sir? This is the question has been put to the speaker. Off. Say you are against war, peace, and so on, but you are contributing to it. 
by travelling all over the world. So where shall I stop? You understand? Not write a letter, not travel, not do all the things that are contributory, that give help war. Or do you ask much more fundamental question? You see, why does war exist at all? Why has man, who is so called civilized, so called educated, why does he support killing another? Another human being. So what is the fundamental question then? Is it nationality? Is this this whole idea of isolation, national iso- isolation, individual isolation, communal isolation? When I put on a monk's robe or a different kind of robe, I am isolating myself. So is isolation the cause of war? Obviously. When I say I'm British, you're French, you're this, you're that, I'm isolating myself. I have a long tradition as a British or an Indian. If I'm an Indian, I have much more ancient tradition, which is isolating. So, any form of isolation must contribute to war, which war being not only killing each other, but a conflict with each other. Right? Now, seeing all that, which requires intelligence, not just vague utopian idea, seeing that, the perception of this fact that where there is isolation of any kind, belonging to one group against another group, one sect against another, one uniform of purple, yellow, isolated, these are the actual contribute, contribute to isolation and therefore inevitable conflict. To perceive that, to see the truth of it, requires intelligence, not say, I agree with you, and do nothing about it. But when I see the truth of it, that very perception is the action of intelligence. So, with that intelligence, I enter the world. You see, that intelligence which has no cause, that love that has no cause, compassion obviously cannot have a cause. With that beauty, with that clarity, with that energy, I meet. I meet the world which is brutal. I act from that love, or rather, that love that has no cause acts. I may be a beggar, or a very good technician, but the quality of that can never enter the world of ambition, brutality, violence. Now, my friend says, I understand. I understand very clearly what you say. I have grasped intellectually what you have said. 
superficial. Now, how am I to capture it? How am I to hold it? As I hold breath, as I breathe, hold something so enormous. What is method? What is the system that will help me? Of course, obviously, when you follow a system, you're gone, finished. Because you want to achieve that state of real love. And you, you want to achieve because you are unhappy, therefore you are emotive. Therefore it's not intelligent. Therefore it's not love. So when you have this culture, then you can go through the world, never that perfume losing its beauty.